Um, t tell us why you feel so strongly and, and, and why a posthumous pardon would mean so much to your family. Well, the reason I feel strongly is because it was my grandmother and my mother that suffered through him being shot as a coward. Um, her pension was uh, stopped and they were forced out of their house onto the streets. So they were sort of penniless. There was no social services then or anything. So they did have a tough time because of it and because of the stigma and the shame that was attached to someone who was uh, executed. Didn't your grandmother actually end up in the workhouse? It was that bad. Well, not, not quite. She did apply to the uh, Soldiers and Sailors Association and they helped her and she got a, a position in a, as a, a maid somewhere in a big house. But that was always a danger, wasn't it? That's um, right. Tell us, what, what was he accused of doing or not doing? To... Well, he was accused of, sh of showing cowardice in the face of the enemy. Um, and it, what led up to it was that he refused to go up to the trenches because he said he felt sick and he fell out <clears throat> and he went to a dressing station and this uh, medical officer said well you haven't actually got a wound we can't see you're not f uh, we can't see a wound so you know go back and join the um, the, re the, the party going up to the front he, he fell out again and eventually he was put on a charge and um, and the rest was that he was court-martialed and we believe he didn't have a, a fair trial the trial only lasted uh, 20 minutes and it didn't take into account his medical condition, his previous medical mm. condition of shell shock. And he'd been there two years, hadn't he? He didn't, didn't get a break at all from That's the start right. of the war. And he was a regular soldier. He wasn't, he, <clears throat> he was a reservist and recalled in 1914 and went out with the expeditionary force and in May he was hospitalized for five months with shell shock. Mm. Then returned to his regiment and then he was hospitalized again. So he had a record of um, uh, sort of nerve, a nervous yeah. complaint. Something that would uh, probably <coughs> been uh, recognised nowadays, of course. But how far have you taken this battle now, this this legal battle? You got quite tied yeah, we, up in the red tape and the rest of it. Yes, we've got as far as um, we had a, a, a judicial review in May, and and the judge said that we couldn't go for a, post, uh, a full pardon, but we could try for a conditional pardon. Just explain to us the difference then between a full well, pardon and a conditional one. Um, well, a conditional pardon is where the, they're saying that he shouldn't have been shot because he was ill. Mm. And um, a full pardon would mean they'd have to um, pardon everything that happened. But um, So we're hoping today that we get this conditional pardon and then it'll have to go back to the MOD. Yeah. It's a long journey for you, isn't it, Janet? I mean, I'm just reading about the, the past. I mean, Jeff Hoon in the past has rejected your yes. uh, request, hasn't he? Saying it had no merit in law. Why do you feel this time round you have more hope than you did perhaps in 2003? Um, well, I think we just uh, try and um, endlessly to, to, to get a pardon for these people. People understand there's more reason why that there were shell shock. You know, we understand it more now. It perhaps didn't apply then so much, but we know that, you know, people do Emotional suffer with their nerves. And, and then beyond the pardon, presumably, some kind of memorial, some, something to remember. Well, there is a memorial the in, uh, up in Staffordshire yeah. um, at the Arboretum, and that's the nearest we've got to say that he's got a grave because he didn't have a grave. They didn't warrant that they, in the beginning of the war, that these soldiers deserved graves. They said they weren't fit to have a grave. Um, I did visit work the spot where he was executed in Carnoy, and um, he was probably just dumped in a field, I suppose. Mm. You know, it's very sad, especially for my mother. And part of your argument, of course, was that he didn't even put a blindfold on, so he couldn't have been that, that well, this coward. Is, well, this is what we're saying. He couldn't mm. have been a coward if he stood there open-eyed. Mm.